Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how I hide my acne scars, the foundation routine that I have for hiding any redness, acne scars, pimples, anything like that. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what I do because so many guys have requested a video on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so this is my skin with no makeup on. I know the camera kind of like makes it look a little bit more flawless and smoother than it actually is, but I promise you there is imperfections. I'm going to do an up close when I do the whole foundation stuff just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So these are the areas that I need the most work on which are super difficult to cover up because I don't know if any of you guys have acne scars. If you're watching this then it's probably because you do, but it's really really hard to cover them because you can still see the indentation. Because when you do have a scar, most of the time it will indent your skin. So it looks flat right now. Well, when I zoom in, it looks flat and it looks like you can easily cover it up. It looks like it's just like a red dot. But trust me, it's like indented into your skin. So when you put foundation over it, you can see the indentation. I will include pictures of how it looks like when people have indented acne scars right here. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. I also want to do a little disclaimer before I started the video is the products that I'm using are expensive you guys expensive and it's all high-end stuff and it's crazy because I don't like spending so much money on foundations because I don't wear that much and this stuff is expensive so it kind of sucks because when I run out I know I'm gonna to have to buy it again and it's gonna be so much money unless I can find a dupe for all this stuff but I have not been able to find any drugstore or cheaper alternative products for what I am using but I don't know, I'm sorry you guys, I know this. Okay, so now that we're up close and personal, I can kind of show you guys what I'm working with and what's going on. So, this row that I have right there, these are all indentations. I know they just look like red dots, but I promise you these are all indentations. And I have a little bit of um, more acne scars right there, but these aren't too bad. These are really easy to cover up, these don't really matter. And then a little bit under my chin from where I had some. So on my chin, I have a little bit as well. It's not as bad. My chin doesn't take that much to cover up. But as you can see, I have that like little pimple right there. Which I don't really cover up because I don't like having foundation on my lips that often. But I'll show you guys how I hide that too. But as you can see, it's just like a little bit of indentation and coloration there as well. Okay, so as you can see right here, it's literally just a bulge of acne scars and redness like especially right here this part is really difficult to cover up as well because it is really indented so I had a lot of acne right here on my like sides of my mouth on my cheek right here I had a lot of acne as you can kind of see like the little scars right there and the scar over here as well but on this side it's definitely difficult to cover up everything that I have going on there Okay, so the first thing that I do is I prime my skin. Again, this is a very expensive primer, but it works amazing. It's my all-time favorite. It is the Hourglass Mineral Primer Veil. It has SPF 15 in it, and I finally got the large size. Because if you guys remember, I used to only have the travel size, which I feel like this one is $36, and then the travel size is $18. So if you want to get it, you can just get the travel size for $18. It is an amazing primer, so I start off by using this. But a dupe that I do have for it that is not the same as it, but it'll do if I run out of this one, I, I'll go for this one. It is the Revlon Photo, Ready, Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. This one is also amazing, so I definitely recommend to get either one of these for primer because it'll help make the makeup stay on all day, which is important if you want to keep everything covered. Okay, so once I prime my face, I move on to foundation. So for foundation, what I'm going to be using is the Hourglass vanish foundation stick which these are expensive these are $45 I want to say or 49 I can't remember but they're like $45 they're amazing this is like my all-time favorite foundation right now I cannot stop using it I wear it every single day it's amazing and this I have it in the color bisque which I think is the third lightest or fourth or something like that but yeah guys these foundation sticks are bomb they're so good they're so worth the money and the hype they're full coverage but they do not make you look cakey which I hate looking cakey, you already know. These are full coverage, they don't make you look cakey, they feel so good, give you an amazing finish. But if you guys don't want to aim for this foundation, 
Another foundation stick that I absolutely adore is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sticks. I've already talked about this before, but these are really, really good alternative if you cannot go for the hourglass one. These are $21, I believe, and these work really, really well. Of course, they do not have the same amount of coverage that the Vanish stick has, but definitely buildable. You can work with this if you don't have the other type. And I haven't been able to find a drugstore foundation that will do anything that these two foundations do to cover up indentations and scars. Basically, just only put this in the areas that I have the problem areas. I do not apply this under my eyes or on my nose just because it is full coverage and I don't want to, you know, run the risk of looking cakey. And I want the coverage to be here where I have the imperfections, I guess. And so basically over here, I'll start on this area because this is like my most difficult one. You guys can see all the scars and redness that I have. So basically, I will do stripes right here. I'll just do like four stripes and then I'll move on to this side and I'll literally just draw the foundation in like the circle because I have the circle of acne scars right there. I'll just draw in the circle of that and then right here where I have the other pimples where will they used to be. I also just do like a little stripe real quick and then on my chin is where it's like kind of hard to cover my chin for some reason. I don't know why but I have a little bit of redness right there and then a little pimple right there. So I'm just going to do one swipe real quick. And then I also have a little bit of acne scars right here and a little bit right there. But I don't want to go too far up my cheek so I don't look cakey. So I'm just going to do one little swipe and then move it forward. And then I just do one little right there, right there. Because I don't really need that much coverage on my forehead because I don't really have any anything going on up there. So then the brush that I use for this, there's actually a brush that comes with this foundation that you're supposed to get and that Hourglass recommends you use for it. But it was like also $40 or like $35 and I didn't want to get that brush. I felt like it wasn't necessary. This is the Urban Decay Optical Blurring F105 brush. And I like to use this brush and then basically I will just pounce like this. And gradually move upwards. I don't really like to stick to the center of my face that much. But I try to bounce it in and not move the product at all to make sure that the acne stuff gets covered. And then of course I'll blend it down to my neck and to the back of my ears as well. But basically that's what I'm just going to be doing is pouncing it. Okay, so once I get to the center of my face, as you can see, there's like an obvious line right there of where the foundation ends and where my skin starts. This is where I'm really careful. I won't even take any extra products. Like, I'll kind of clean the brush off a little bit, and then I'll just kind of gradually blend this over. There's no new product on here. And I'm going to take my flat top brush, which I have talked about in my How to Avoid Cake Face, and then I'll start to kind of like buff where I... I told you guys to buff in that video just to make sure that everything is blended there and doesn't cake up or accumulate throughout the day. So what I like to do is I like to set it right away just to make sure it does not move. And I'm going to be using a lot of powders for this, but it's because that's the best technique that I find to make sure it is set. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm just going to be mixing this shade and this shade right there. And I like to take a Kabuki brush to do this and I just like go ham and I just like dig it in there and I just only set wherever the acne scars are. And then I'm also going to take some loose powder from Kat Von D. And I'm also going to apply that only on the part where the acne scars. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of the face and then I will be right back. So this is the completed look. I'm not wearing any mascara right now because I'm going to film a mascara routine in a second. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I mean, as you can see, you can't even tell that you have acne scars there or that you have any like redness or discoloration or anything like that because the foundation does such a good job of covering everything up. And then also when you set it with two different types of powders, a loose powder and a pressed powder, then if you put any bronzer or blush or highlight over it, it's not going to move because it's already 
pressed in with the pressed powder and then the pressed powder is set with the loose powder and that way it literally does not move at all throughout the day and I also put some setting spray on that helps too but what's more important is that if I apply my bronzer and my blush and stuff it's not gonna move any of the foundation and make the scars pop out again I don't use any concealer because the foundation does such a good job of already covering up any under eye circles or bags that I have if you you know want me to film like my whole acne journey video and tell you guys what medications I use to get rid of everything let me know down below and I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time bye guys